Hi guys, Paul here from PA Brew News. Got a beer from the Victory Brewing Company from Downington, Pennsylvania that I heard was pretty damn good. I know I did their aged V12 here recently on the channel. This one is a double dry hop, double IPA, coming in at 8.7, I think, alcohol by volume. What is it? 8.7 alcohol by volume. Liberty Bell Ringer. Double dry hop, double IPA. There we go. And this is the label. Very nice. Very good. Unite for hop freedom. The malts are Pilsner and Carapils. The hops are uh, Strata, Centennial, and Simcoe. And I don't think I've had Strata hops yet. So, another beautiful little adventure. My hair is like crappy because it was raining out. So it's just like, <laughs> but whatever. But whatever. Label out, folks. There we go. Side port. I've heard that, that this is pretty damn good. So we'll see how pretty damn good it is. Too lazy to change the vinyl, so I'm still just listening to uh, uh, Howling Moon. So whatever. Okay. Nice little soft haze to this one for sure. Nice little orange, a little bit of a honey hue to this one. Nice ring of white bubbles, but definitely a lot of alcohol like sticking already from that 8.7%. I can really see, I don't know if you can, but I can definitely see some alcohol like sticking. So, let's get an aroma on this one. Hmm. Oh, wow. That is earthy, spicy, perfuming. Tons of grapefruit, dankness. Yeah, down top, yeah. <clears throat> caramel, lots of grapefruit. Floral, spicy, dank. Two moses. Enjoy by October 23, 2019. So I don't know how old the can is, but it's still in the good Best Buy date. So let's give it a go. Cheers. If you like more of the old school styles of IPAs, these, I mean, for a double dry hopped IPA, it's not that bombastic. It's not really screaming fruit flavors and stuff like that. I think the thing with this beer that I think a lot of people would enjoy is the fact that it has an assertive bitterness. It has a dank presence. It has almost a slightly reminiscent West Coast vibe without going totally West Coast. It has those, I mean, it has uh, like Simcoe's and stuff like that, the kind of traditional, more traditional style of punchy IPAs. It's a bit on the thin side, waters down a little bit in the back end. But again, nice, earthy, spicy, assertive bitterness. Little notes of grapefruit rind coming through, tangerine, just very, very slight. I'm just gonna go more grapefruit. Grapefruit rind, maybe. A t the slightest twinge of a pineapple, that kind of quality, just that subtle twinginess of that nice grapefruit rind. It's not bombastic. Those fruit flavors are definitely not shining. Like you, you'd expect more of it from a double dry hopped beer. I mean, they should be very bombastic and bright and vibrant, especially when it's still like three months before it's Best Buy date. You know, it should be a little bit more. Mm -bah, so. To me, it's very reminiscent of other PA brews that I do enjoy. Nimble Giant, for example. Um, I remember Nimble Giant. I can't. They had um, Lolly Hop, and they had something else before that. Golden Things uh, from Trogues. Then you had. Is that Trogues? I think so. I think so. And then of course you have the No Socks from Old Forge. So you have a very similar kind of vibe that more, more old school nice little peppery bitterness assertiveness a little bit of dankness 
but none of those beers are very bombastic in, in the the flavor profile of the fruits, you know what I mean? And unfortunately, a lot of people want a lot of big, huge citrus, citrus stones. If you don't like those citrus stones, you just like that nuance of the grapefruit from those more traditional hops, this one has that, for sure. If you're not a haze for days, unclear for years, fruit bowl, fruit bomb kind of a guy, but you want more of assertive, reminiscent of old school IPAs, those West Coast bitterness, those, those kind of, those tonalities that we grew up basically, you know, as far as the craft beer movement, you know, a couple last 10 years, definitely, you know, I, I, we all got into that drinking those beers. So if you want something that was a little bit more old school, something you remember, this is a good beer for that. As far as double dry hopped DIPAs, it hides the ABV amazingly well. The drinkability is only hindered by the assertive bitterness. I mean, there's a nice little assertive bitterness that you don't get with a lot of IPAs anymore because people are trying to drink, you know, trying to brew the, the low bitterness hot bombs, or the uh, juice bombs, I guess you could say. And this one takes you back from that. It is a little bit lackluster. It's not bombastic, especially for a double dry hopped DIPA, you think you'd want more rah, like, you know, the single cuts and stuff like that. They might not all be like haze for days, but they're bursting with flavor. So, <clears throat> hey, it was a carbonation. I forgot to mention that. Limited release series, Victory Bell Ringer. For a, an old school DIPA, I would, I would probably throw this one in the eight, in the probably nine, eh, double, like an old school double IPA. If it just said DIPA, I would be like, yeah, this is a nine out of ten. This is a, a good beer. Um, eight, eight five maybe. But this double dry hop stuff, I expected more. You know, I want more from this. Like, there's so many other better double dry hopped IPAs out there that, even though it's old school, it's it's still just. Just tastes like an old school beer, but not a not a double dry hop. This and this, so it's nice though. It's a nice old school beer, you know. So overall, I think I'm going to throw this one into the eight out of ten category. This eight out of ten for the double dry hop DIPA from Victory. This is the Liberty Bell Ringer, and that's it. So, I mean, let me know what your thoughts, opinions. If you've had it, please let me know. And again, Victory Brewing Company down in Pennsylvania. They have a pretty good distribution anymore. I'm sure you can find them in a lot of different states and stuff like that. So, if you have it, if you do run across it and have it, let me know your thoughts and opinions. This has been Paul from Bay Cheers. Bye-bye. Watch out for you.